Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to 2023 Korean Open Badminton Championships, part of the HSBC BW World Tour Super 500. 본 대회를 위해 이곳 진나체육관을 찾아주신 여러분께 진심으로 감사드립니다. 오늘은 잠시 후 11시부터 전 종목 중결승전 경기가 펼쳐지겠습니다. Welcome to support us at Jinnam Stadium in Yeos, Korea. Today, semi-finals of all divisions will be held. The matches start at 11. Thank you for your participation and cooperation. Welcome to the beautiful Yosu Peninsula on the southern coast of Korea for the 30th edition of the Korea Open, the 2023 edition, also the 17th event of the HSBC BWF World Tour season. And all the action has been happening right here at the Jinnam Stadium, Yosu, South Korea. It is the business end of the tournament. It's finals weekend and some of the biggest names. That's what's all about there. Biggest names vying for the HSBC BWF World Tour Finals Trophy. Today, brought out by Park K. Ok, president of the Jolan Nam Do Badminton Association. Honored to have these VIPs on hand in this wonderful stadium. This is the Euro play for court one, starting off with the mixed doubles, Zhang Zhenbang and Wei Yaozin taking on Yuta Watanabe, Arisa Higashino, and that's kicking off. An all-seeded affair, as you can see, the eight seeds taking on the number three seeds there. Women's singles up after that. All the top four women's singles, the big four uh, in the last four berths. Chen Yufei taking on Ansa Young, number three, taking on number two in terms of seeding. Women's doubles after that, Kim So Young and Kong Hee Young with the home pair advantage. And they're continuing their charge against Mayu Matsumoto and Wakana Nagahara. That's the fourth seeds taking on the fifth seeds. And then the conclusion, the women's single semi-finals. It's the other two in the big four. The number one seed, Akane Yamaguchi, taking on the number four seed, Tai Tzu Ying. Men's singles after that, first of the men's single semi-finals, Kodai Narioka taking on the former world champion from Singapore, Lo Kan Yu. And as we move through the order, and it's India's now very famous and it's doubles pair, Safwick Rankaredi and Chirai Shetty, the number three seeds, taking on Liang Wei Kang and Wan Chang. And the conclusion of the men's singles semi-finals, the number three seed, Shi Yu Chi, taking on Anders Antonsen, the only unseeded player, in fact, in those men's semi-finals. And then we'll conclude action on court one with Roger Alfian and Mohamed Rian Ardianto in the men's doubles, taking on the defending champions, Kang Min Hyuk and Xiao Sung Jae. 
Now oh, looking at the mixed doubles draw. The officials make their way into the arena. No Zheng Xiwei and Huang Yashong. They were dispatched in straight games by Zhang and Wei. And the winner of this semi-final, of course, will play uh, Feng and Huang or Dutch Paul and Sapsiri. The Thai pair, the number two seeds. Fans have been flocking into the Jinnam Stadium. Just a couple of days, and the players now ready to make their way into the arena. Chiang Kai Bang, Wei Yanxin, China versus Yuta Watanabe, Arisa Higashimori, Japan. Please welcome players. Well, it really is absolutely star-studded cast list for these opening matches on court one. The world number 10s, Shang Zhenbang and Wei Yazin taking on the world number 2s, Yuta Watanabe and Arisa Higashino. So as the head-to-head -head first meeting between them should lead to some interesting Red sparks, I think. Black. Red for you. It's red. Rishi. Harisa Rishi. Wait to serve. Which side? Which side? That side. Again into the warm up. 13 titles for Yuta Watanabe. Let's have a look first at Zhang Zhenbang. 22 years old. He lived in China, was where he was born. Three titles on the tour so far Super 100, the Indonesia Masters, and the China Masters this year, and the Swiss Open as well. There's his partner. Well, he has in, 23 years old from Hunan. And so far, they were quarterfinalists, the Malaysian Masters, the Orléans Masters, and the Spain Masters. As I said, they won the Swiss Open and China Masters, but they were also runners-up at the Indonesian Masters. So a fourth semi-final for them, looking for a fourth final this year. And that's how they got here. Two Korean pairs, Kim Yong-hyuk, Lee Yu Lim. Cho Song Hyun and Lee Jung Hyun in 26 minutes and 29 minutes respectively. And then that's the big result. Zheng Shi Wei, Wang Yashong, the number one seeds. 21-16, 21-17, straight game. So flawless from them all week. Up against Yuta Watanabe, 26 years old, born in Tokyo. And of course, we all know that they have been world number ones. Also plays men's doubles, of course, with Hiroyuki Endo. This time in mixed doubles, Lisa Higashino, number one actually in November of 22. Bronze medalist at the Olympic Games 2020. And this is how they got here. It was Reginald Lee, Tang Chun Man, seeing sweat 28 minutes and 37 minutes. And then the Korean pair of Ko Sung Hyun and Yeom Hai Won. Also flawless, so somebody's got to lose a game today. Harris McFarlane, our umpire. Joined by our service judge, Ryu Jong Hyun. Well, what's that in Higashino? Well, this is there. Fifth semi and looking for their fifth final. It's been perfect from them. Quarter finalists in Canada, runners up in Indonesia and Singapore, they won in India, runners up at the Malaysian Open 
good solid year in this eighth event of the Paris 2024 qualifying period, running all the way up to next April. And they'd love to get another win under their belt here. Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Yuta Watanabe and Harisa Aikashino, Japan. And on my left, Chan Zhengbang and Wei Yachin, China. We are to serve to Arisa Igashino. Lobo. Play. Oh, both pairs just still finding their range. These early points. Line on this side of the court. We've seen a lot of decisions go astray there. Nice. Beautifully weighted from Watanabe. down the left side didn't work out for him oh. Oh, both pairs now beginning to find Five, some angles some winning angles we as in that Been good pressure from Jiang and Wei. Short, sharp rallies, nothing too developed. Three point lead. Which is immediately cut down.
Great pick up by Chiang. And the body shot works so well. And they've increased their lead to four. Good strategy from the Chinese pair. Immediately going to ground. Just not allowing these rallies to develop. It's Watanabe really has been the only thing fighting back. Higashino still to exert any real influence on this side of the net. down so the first mid-game interval solid stuff from Chang and Wei 11-6 this match and each of the points if anything seems to be increasing that was another great angle found this time by Zhang with the backhand they're just managing to raffle Watanabe and Higashino right now for Otanabe and Higashino to start cutting into this lead, which really they have just been chasing as best they can since the start. It's been getting bigger and bigger. Another great shot from Zhang Zhenbang. running away with this one in this first game. It's only eight minutes played, 16-7 up, and looking very, very good. Watanabe and Higashino guilty of a couple of unforced errors, yes, but also they've been outfoxed in some of these angles. These flat drives, left, right. And just like that, straight down the middle. Wei 
Sun Tin just dominating at the net. Well, I don't think anyone would have expected this scoreline in the first game, let alone Watanabe and Higashino. helping them out so this first game looking like a foregone conclusion 19-7 well, I think they'll allow that mistake 12 points up Ambitious. Oh, I think this is the first real point run that we've seen, as small as it is, from the Japanese world number twos. So far, that's great defense from Jan. Just too fast for him in the end. Well, this would be quite the comeback, even for the likes of Watanabe and Higashino, if they can pull it off. Saying looked inevitable. Eight game points. The young Chinese pair. Picked out of the air and sent straight to ground. Well, lightning fast first game. And it's first blood to the Chinese pair, 21-12. Absolutely perfect from Zhang Zhenbang. Back on court. 
for game two. A lot of thinking. For the Japanese pair. Ito Watanabe, a previous champion here at the Korea Open, but that was in men's doubles with Hiroyuki Endo, 2018. You know, going to have to watch those as close as they are. They're going to have to keep it over and in. delicate at the net. Good start from Watanabe and Higashino in the second game. to corner. Oh, that's good pressure from the Japanese pet. Higashino with some nice work at the net. Clearly defined combination. Set up nicely for Watanabe to plug that winner. Oh, that's great. Well, the highlight shots are coming out now. Beautiful deception on that. pair caught flat. That's Watanabe again. In that first game, he was, as I said, the stalwart really fighting back, even though they lost that game. And now, once again, doing what he does best, backcourt attacks. Delayed the release. It's a well worked and well earned four point lead. 
much needed, you could say, as well. Zhang and Wei definitely having to weather more of a storm in the second game. But they're doing well, they're fighting back, and they're keeping pace with the scoreboard. And closing up. Two-point lead now. approaching the mid-game interval and I do mean rapidly the pace of this match so far has been electrifying well they were caught out of position and they knew it and Zhang Zhenbang was just on hand and waiting for the opportunity First, second third done Interesting to note that lateral mobility just tracking across the court for those three smashes. One of them was bound to go in. Still fighting hard. Just didn't give up. Nine, ten. One, two. Stood her ground in mid court. Refused to back down. 27 shots, longest rally of the match so far. High quality. Shots as well. That's beautiful from Higashino. Zhang with a good recovery. Higashino on hand. Absolutely no chance from that range. And as they get into the interval, it's much better for Watanabe and Higashino. 11-9. Silver, 10, 11. Well, he has 
comes in. And Shen wasting no time as they get back on court to addressing this lead. Oh, what a shot that was from Wei Yazin. to be rally of the match so far just simply for that defense again Managing to get this back, both pairs. Finally, the mistake, but that has to be rally of the match so far. 51 shots, and pretty much every single one of those could make the highlights real. Some of the defending in that, there's one of the shots between the legs, but. One of three or four incredible defences. Somebody had to make a mistake in the end, I guess. That's another one. Positionally stretched to the max. Well left. Well, both pairs looking to settle back into a pattern. But it is mesmerizing stuff here on court one in this opening match. That lead still just two points. It's not enough, you feel, with the way that Zhang and Wei have been playing. Watanabe and Higashino need to conquer these next two or three points. Secure the second game. Hope for a decider. And that's not going to be too easy with mistakes like that. Difficult shot, but for a player of Watanabe's class, you'd think perhaps he could have pulled that in. Chang on serve. Well, he has in, sorry, on serve. It's beautiful from Watanabe. And it's well left again by Zhang, so they tie it up at 14 all. 14 all. These are dangerous times for the world number two pair. So tight over the net.
Oh, beautiful from Chang. That angle was just too oblique and it really did define the rest of the point. Watanabe trying his best. But look at this, that shot there, that was the one. Set him up nicely. Just see how he was wrong footed. Smart play from Zhang and Wei. Good enough to send that return from Zhang wide. That was such an important point for them. And again, it's Watanabe. Such a desire to win. And he's trying his best here to steer him and his partner out of trouble. It's gone long. And I think these last three points from 15 all could be the ones to define the second game. They have to keep their heads cool. Say no to that. like they were on their way to sealing the second game. And that can be so cruel at times. It's a chance for Zhang away. Just wonder when you're watching Zhang Zhenbang as to where he's going to hit next, but apparently he can aim for anywhere on the court at any time. That was all him, that point. Both Wat Watanabe and Higashino trying to phase him, but in the end, those shots getting steeper and steeper. And at one point, too steep to recover. And they're certainly not close yet to taking this second game. Bit of a graze there for. Watanabe, I think. But 17 19, definitely not a safe situation for the world number two pair. One game down, of course. So Zhang and Wei actually just four points away from another final this year. And still that stinging power and energy from Zhang Zhenbang. One point behind now. <laughs> Just like that. That's how quickly things can turn. 
you remember that net clip from Higashino, which could have sent them to 20. And that now looks so costly. Good run of three points from Zhang and Wei. And this point now, absolutely crucial. Delicate. Amazing pattern of play over the net. Great defense from Zhang. He's set up. Well, that was a mistake from Weyazin. Just snatched at it. And so, first game point. One solitary game point in regulation. How close was this? You really thought he was going to finish it off right there. And that hook just snatched that. And there you go. Extra points it is. First to two, first to 30. And Watanabe and Higashino, of course, dicing with losing this match. Great from Weyazin. Oh, he's just gone wide. The margins are so small right now. And it is another game point. Their second for Watanabe and Higashino. Sometimes they just know how to force the issue. We're going to a decider. And I think it's what everybody here at the Jinnam Stadium would want to see based on what we've seen in the last half of this second game. 22-20 to Watanabe and Higashino. And on we go. And look at that, 37 minutes on court. That's all. Back on court for what should be an incredible game, and it starts off with an incredible point. Speed, direction, angles. Everything in that point. Oh, 
Nice from Moyaz in. Just looking back at that second game, you remember it was tied up at 15 all from that net clip. And up to 19 16. Tied it up. It's not been the easiest of runs at all for Watanabe and Higashino, but they still have managed to come through. Great determination, belief. Now it's safe to say both pairs fully warmed up. And what's ominous is, is of course, that Zhang and Wei are playing from that side of the court where they were so dominant in that first game. Drift conditions really quite marginal all week, but blowing from top to bottom on your screen. But they are so good at keeping it flat. And it really has not been that significant at all for them. Again, that angle too steep from Zhang Zhenban. Forces the error. Been a few occasions where Watanabe and Higashino have managed to dive low and pick it up. That's been special when they have. A mistake from Higashino clips the net again. Wow, they cannot allow Chang and Wei to get more than two or three points ahead. They have to keep pace. Watanabe. First challenge of the day, which is quite surprising coming in the third game. That's how close this game has been, or this match has been. Higashino just fixed on the screen. It's out. Well spotted. Literally just touched that. There was absolutely no power put into that shot. It's just a perfect block. He's done it again there. This time picked up. Great from Watanabe. He's brought the level. Soon as it was hit,
tackle from Chung Chen Bang. Anything that came his way, he was going to send back with interest. First down the line, and it came back as the cross court. Both absolutely inch perfect. It's in good form. side this time. Gold medalists earlier this year, Shang and Wei at the Badminton Asia Championships. Where they beat Zheng Shi Wei and Wang Ya Shang in straight games. Something they've already done this week. Again. Oh, that looks like it's gone long. Great angle, great idea. And again, Watanabe and Higashino have some clawing back to do. Four points back. I'm going to have to be careful. That was well placed by Higashino. Right at the feet of Chang over Wei Yazin. A good start to the comeback, you think. Oh, well played, that really is. So at the interval, 11 7, and Chang and Wei again have been just look at that reflex block. Still, she manages to keep it flat. And within those tram lines, really incredible shot to end off that phase. Could have been shot of the week. Didn't, of course. And have a look at where he took it from. That was wow. That was <laughs> behind the back reverse. Still only about a foot off, maybe half a foot off. Pulling out all the stops here. Watanabe and Higashino try and close up this deficit. Everything they do. There's a response from the Chinese pair. Helped by the net there. I think one of the main engines is the fact that Wei Yazin is just so fast across the across the net. Great orbital defense. Chang Zhenbang. Just orbiting his partner, Wei Yazin, static in the middle there, you see it. She knew exactly where he was. Positionally, they are very well put together. It's another delicate exchange of the net that goes the way of the Chinese pair, and they're looking dangerous now, 14-8. And it's just unbelievable that we're closing in on the end of the deciding game, and it's just gone past 50 minutes. 
It's a lightning pace to this match. And while it was short, sharp rallies that defined that at the beginning, now we're seeing, well, we've seen 51 shot rallies in the middle of this match. It's just brilliant play. Wow, he's been finding a bit of trouble last few shots at the net. So now Watanabe and Higashino back in. be the point that changes it you just get the feeling that Watanabe and Higashino really needed to pull a couple of points there 15-10 still not critical but the next couple of points should they fall away of the Chinese pair and things are going to be getting very very critical for Japanese world number twos Okay, bit of trouble there. points on Higashino's serve. Much needed for them. Nicely pounced on by Wei Yazin. Both pairs have been 100% this year. When it comes to semi-finals, Watanabe, oh, that's absolutely beautiful from Boyazin. I think he's going to be lucky. Let's look at it again on the replay. Well, it is close looking at it from that angle. But as I was saying, Chang, Zhenbang and Boyazin, four semis, four finals. If this one comes through, that is in. Look at that. Watanabe and Higashino. Five semis, five finals. Should this one go? Both had flawless records all week. Now shattered. One game lost apiece. But in the most high quality match. And Manor. Oh, that's absolutely... So important. Look at that. He knows it. Six points back. Chang and Wei, three points away from the final. Higashino was absolutely convinced that that was going to be a winner, but still it came back. Great defense again from Zhang. So it's 
it's another mistake. Eight match points. Maybe this is now a bridge too far for Watanabe and Higashino. It's a mistake in the end. They didn't need the other seven. Wow, what a match to kick off the action on court one. Really showcase stuff. Iris Metzpalu confirming that three game win. And they move on now. It's a four final for them. And there is confirmation of it. 21 12, 20 22, 21 12. As you can see, the women's singles. Chen Yufei versus An Se Yong. Don't go anywhere. So back on court here, that was a thrilling first match on court one. And up next, well, it is, what can we say, a rematch of the All England final this year. Chen Yufei taking on An Se Yong. That's going to be explosive. Looking at the women's singles.